and this is a uh, six gun plaza which used to be a wild west theme park back in the i guess from the 60s to the 80s and we'll just run through here and we'll show you it right quick this i believe was the parking lot for six gun territory back in the day and you would take like a little train back out to the theme park which would be back out behind this and it's just cool it's near and dear to my heart because uh, I had good memories going there and there is like a more than games pull in here driver formerly known as James let's run in and take a look at it right there more than games we're gonna see if they'll let us film in there. I'm Joe from More Than Games. Come and check us out. Retro games, collectibles. Hope to see you. Very cool. Got a nice Pal Proto on the wall. And we're just gonna look at the uh, Nintendo games right quick. Reasonably priced. SNES, Atari games, and Sega Genesis. So this is very cool and I just wanted to get a quick glance inside okay so that was just a real quick look inside more than games didn't know that was there so Pretty cool, they do have a lot of retro uh, Nintendo and Atari cartridges, Sega Genesis. And that's about all I looked at. Just trying to do a quick video. This is the Saturday drive, so I have to save some space for driving. Plus there is a chili cook-off in Interlocking today, so I have to save some space for that. Okay, sorry for the quick jump cut there, <clears throat> but I do have to, you know, limit my time here. And I'm also going to probably have to do a lot of cuts in this video because Ocala is a sizable city and it is loaded with red lights. So we could, you know, I can do a 20 minute video and I'm sure that there's more than 20 minutes or 20 red lights and I'll be sitting at each one for a minute. So have to make these cuts but we'll try to keep it in the theme of driving and we're gonna go down now and check out the Appleton Museum just the outside um, that is a pretty neat thing to do in Ocala if you're ever in the area and like I said we're just gonna drive through the parking lot it does cost money to get in there I'm not sure how much um, I think it's free on like this, you, you have to look at their website for the details, but it's free on like the second Wednesday of every month or something like that. So this is the Appleton Museum of Arts. And uh, as always, if you would like to see us come back here and make a video, go inside of it we do that but you need to leave a comment when I don't get any comments saying you know yeah go back and go in there I just assume that nobody's interested so and they got neat little things outside here like that hole in the rock but inside I believe is just paintings and sculptures 
So that is the Appleton Museum of Arts. Go down here, let's get this sunflower. That's a pretty neat sunflower. You can see it from the highway out there. Florida. And I'll get a quick zoom in on that. Very cool. And I'm going to, again, shut the camera off to save time. Okay, in the Chelsea Square is our good friend's Vintage Toy King. I would definitely recommend coming out to check out Vintage Toy King. If you're ever in the Ocala area and you like vintage toys, that's the place to go. Um, the pizza place that I was coming here to try today has closed down. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to try today. So we're going to drive around and hope that we can find a pizza place. Sometimes, you know, just coming into those random places turns out good, like Zach's Pizza last Saturday. And for anybody who watched my video last Saturday, I was like, why couldn't you find Fleming Island? Just I don't know where it is. I'm, I'm not familiar with that area. And the very nice uh, Pakistani gentleman who was running the convenience store I asked about pizza places at directed me there and either he was tricking me or most likely my bad hearing heard a left turn somewhere. So, But we will get back to Fleming Island one day. We will and we will review that pizza place that I was trying to find. Okay, we're on East Silver Springs Boulevard and we're just looking for something cool. Like Florida's Christmas train. Lee's famous recipe chicken. They probably have about $85 generals in Ocala, and that is one of them. Now you'd think they'd have a pizza place somewhere around here. Well, we're going to continue to search and see if we can find a random pizzeria somewhere. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're leaving Ocala, heading into Silver Springs. And I tell you what, finding a hole in the wall pizza place in Ocala is impossible. I didn't see any. And we drove through all the plazas and everything else. Didn't see one. Um, there is a place up here that we're going to check out and try. And uh, what was the name of that place? There's a pizza place up here somewhere. We're going to go in and try it so that I can keep the reviews going. They still have their Valentine's decorations up at Silver Springs Pizza. And I think Valentine's decorations is a new thing that I've only seen. <laughs> I think it started last year is the first time I ever seen stuff like this. But, any excuse to sell an inflatable. And Silver Springs Pizza is located right next to what appears to be an old Howard Johnson. I mean, that really looks like a Howard Johnson. And I'm sure that many a tourist who came here for Silver Springs back in the old days stayed at this Howard Johnson. Or when it was a Howard Johnson. Very cool. Really cool looking little place. I did not take this So 
Silver Springs Pizza. Here's what Silver Springs Pizza looks like. Visually looks very good. I'm going to try a slice. And for the people who want to know about the undercarriage, there's the undercarriage. Very good. Let me put it in my pie hole. And that is good. That is really good. Um, I think this comes in just under Zach's Pizza in Lake Asbury. And I'm going to give this an 8 2. But it's very good pizza. I would definitely recommend stopping by here if you're in Ocala. And uh, so we now have a new top five. Slice Pizza in Palaka has fallen off. And we will insert the new top five right here. That is a cool car. Is that like the new El Camino or something? Very cool. Okay, I forgot to mention that Silver Springs Pizza, that pizza would set you back about $12 plus theft, I mean taxation. And we are headed out of Ocala. That's the thing about only having, you know, 20 minutes to shoot a video is you know, you sit at these red lights so long. You sit at 20 red lights, that's your video. So, um, I guess we'll go back now and try to catch the chili cook-off in Interlochen. So, we'll see you there. We are back in Interlochen. What? And we have a new, looks like they're clearing some uh, property here. So we'll just drive by and show that. It is a little sprinkly out. I don't think they're gonna cancel the chili cook-off for that. And here is a, uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna be something commercial or residential. But pretty cool. Um, be nice if they put something like a another business in there. I'd love that. All right, we'll see you down at the uh, chili cook-off. Okay, it is the second annual Town of Interlock and Chili Cook-off, and we missed the first annual, so at least we'll be here to document some of the second annual. How are you doing? Okay, so that was the interlocking chili cook-off. Rockin' band and some pots of chili. And they got some stuff out here for the kids to play on. Very cool. I guess we'll go do the Taco Bell update since we have time to on this video. So we'll go see if anything's happened at Taco Bell over the last few days. Be right there. Okay, we're at the Circle K and we're gonna go just see if anything has been accomplished at Taco Bell. The chili kickoff didn't really seem 
all that you know like it would hold YouTube people's interest so just got a few shots of it and there is Circle K and our Taco Bell which I don't know driver formerly known as James do you spot any differences since last time not really looks like they've maybe got some curb work done over there maybe that wasn't there last time but for the very most part that still looks still looks almost the same uh, as I did last whatever day it was we came out here Monday all right, everybody, I thank you so much for watching. It's hard to believe that another <clears throat> Saturday has come and gone. And uh, we will see you next time. Peace out.